Hello from Capilano Golf and Country Club. The video you're watching was taken shortly before noon on a cool, crisp day in early December. The temperature in the sun at the time of filming was 2 degrees Celsius. The intention of this video is to show that even though the putting greens and first tee may be free from frost, other areas on the course are not necessarily. Course and Grounds assess each hole continually throughout the morning and communicates with the golf shop as to whether the course is nearing opening for play. The course conditioning message and website are updated throughout the day as well. In order to balance golfer access to the course with the severe damage that can occur to turf from any type of traffic, the course only opens when each hole is 80% free from frost. Even then, traffic is limited to carry only until the course is completely free from frost, at which point two, three, and four wheel carts may be permitted. As we see in this video, holes that have large trees in close vicinity to the east and south take the longest for the frost to melt as the sun needs to get high enough or the temperature is warm enough to clear the frost. On the odd occasion, neither of these will occur and the course will remain closed for the entire day. The determining hole for this decision, partially due to it being early in the routing, is hole number three. Several other holes are similarly covered in frost though, such as number seven, 10, 12 T, 13, 15, and 16. Greens are also monitored on a daily basis as to whether the regular or temporary should be in use. If turf health is a concern, mostly due to sunlight issues, the regular green may be closed for an extended period through the winter. Otherwise, greens are assessed and probed daily to determine if they should be open. If any part of a green is frosty, or if the soil is frozen at any depth, the green will play to a temporary instead. A two-pin system is used, meaning that when both the temporary and regular pins are in, the temporary must be played to and golfers should avoid walking on the regular green. This is done so that staff members don't even have to walk on the regular green to remove the pin and potentially cause damage. In future years, as large trees on and off the property continue to grow, these delays will only become longer due to more shade being cast. Please see the link below in YouTube for a video by the USGA outlining the damage playing on frost can have on the turf. Thank you for your patience and understanding.